Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, or Childhood Finds, if you haven't joined me here before, and today we're going to do a haul video. And this weekend we found quite a few things. We found a lot of bread and butter, um, a couple cream of the crops, I would say, a couple things that make me very happy that I love to find. And if you read the title, you know one thing that's coming up. I have a lot of it, and I'll show you a couple of them. And I think we'll just go ahead and get started. I mean, it's going to be a lot of random stuff. I'm off center because I'm going to try to put solds up here when I can, um, just to kind of give you an idea of what things are selling for. If I'm not able to tell you, or if I don't know, a lot of this stuff, I don't totally know. I, I picked up things I wouldn't normally pick up. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So what do I have right here? I'm going to show you my favorite first. This is Alf. Okay. He is 1986. If you don't know who Alf is, there was a TV show. The only thing I don't approve of Alf is he does, he likes to eat cats, but we don't talk about that. But he is delightful. He is not the one that makes noises or anything. He's just a plush. Um, but yeah, he's in great condition. I imagine probably 20 to 25 for him, but I was so excited when I found him. He got a ride shotgun for the rest of the thrift store adventures. I have maybe 50 cents into him. What else do we have next? Oh, how about just a puzzle? This I don't know. So this is a thousand piece puzzle. It's Tillamook. I don't know if that's how you say that. Um, four block cheeses. So it's, it's literally just cheese is what you're looking at here, cheese. And it's from Lantern Press, which I've never heard of with puzzles. It says it's a premium jigsaw puzzle. It's made in the USA, um, used recycled material. So I don't know. I looked a little bit, but couldn't find this exact one. So I'm, I'm probably going to go for 17 to 20 for it is what I'm thinking. Cause I saw others in the brand. Some of the higher ones went into the twenties. And since I can't find this, I definitely want to probably go 17 to 20, especially cause it's about cheese. People love cheese. I love cheese and it originally sold for 35. So yeah. I picked up an abalone shell. So I paid a little more for this than I typically like to pay. So I paid five for this guy, but he's big. He's a big abalone shell. And typically I can get it at least 20. So I might shoot a little higher cause he is larger than my typical ones, but that's a, you know, I'm happy with that find and they're nice and easy to pack. Um, I picked up a hat. I don't know how much of the hat is worth my friends. It says street series, but I picked it up cause it is made in USA. Um, it's a snapback. It looks in pretty darn good condition. So I took a gamble on it for a few dollars and we'll just see. I don't know too much about hats, but I've had some success with hats. So, you know, that's what the benefit is of watching other YouTubers just to say is I've learned a lot from others and I would have never picked up hats if I wasn't watching others too. So next thing, <laughs> I'm so excited about him. So this is Veggie Tales. So let me get his head back in place, lock him back and load it. I haven't fully tested him yet, but he's a big money. I mean, I, so typically I'm looking like 40 to 50 and, but they don't have this. So I don't know what this is. So I'm going to look a little harder and see what I can find and do a full test of him. Um, the only thing I'm going to have to decide is what I do with the tag because of course, Goodwill writes on the tags. And so I have to figure out what I'm going to do about that if I want to yeah, I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided, but he's good money and I'm very excited about him. I paid $3.99 for him. This guy's actually more money than you'd think. Just a little plush dog. He is Gund and his name is Ripple. Just a tip if you're ever looking up Gund and they have this tag, you can type in this number that is under and that is a good way to look up um, to give you a better idea of what they sell for because if I just type in gun dog I'm gonna get a lot of dogs so that's just a tip for when you're looking up gun per specifically I feel like he's 15 to 20 I think that's what I looked up but I'll put it up there 
Um, the next thing I'm going to show you. So this one, I want you to tell me what you would have picked up. So my mother in law, uh, my mother in law and I went into a garage sale. It was another reseller's garage sale. So they had mostly everything priced up. We each found something that they did not price up though, because they didn't care about it or they didn't know about it. So I picked this out. Oh boy. Okay. Here he is. The creme de la creme of Angry Birds. He's not the best Angry Bird you can get, but he's pretty good. He's got some marks on him that I'll need to see if I can take care of, but he's big. I mean, we're talking at least two and a half feet big. And the he, I'm probably going to ask 75 for him. I paid $2 for him and I jumped out of the garage sale. I, I'm not kidding. I was literally jumping. I was excited. I'm a child. So would you have picked this up or I have a picture of what my mother-in-law grabbed and that's going to be right here. So this is going to be um, an original painting by Lyle Ball and he is, he was a Nevadan artist and local to my area during his time. He, so he retired, I believe in 1968, he had a business in Reno and after he retired is kind of when his painting took off and when he really started to practice that and his paintings can go for really good money and she knew it immediately. She knew immediately what it was because she actually has two hanging in her home. So she grabbed it for four dollars and likely we're looking at at least 300. I it's at least 300 for the painting and it's kind of to what he tended to paint so it's much like what he is known for the barn um, so tell me in the comments what you would have sourced if you would have sourced the plush or the painting or if you're versed in both let me know if it was both of them because yeah i i wouldn't have picked up the painting i'm still learning from her and 100 percent, i would have just tootled on by that and wouldn't have grabbed it so that is why it's beneficial to have another person looking out for you and sourcing and helping you so tell me in the comments what you would have grabbed and yes she technically won in the price range but mine's just so delightful so this i got it's just you know i typically i sell bibles guys i sell a lot of them i find a lot of them i i do it because people are looking for these items and so this is a Holy Bible, it's a large print compact. Large print is always great to find. I believe this one's about a 10 to 12. So nothing uh, spectacular, but a great little profit when you don't pay too much for them. Um, another plush. <laughs> These plush make me smile. Is it just a K? This is, um, this is Flurry. Just a white kitty with a Christmas hat. And it is Russ and does have his beautiful original tag. And flurry, I don't just happen to know this off of the top of my head. It does say flurry on the tag. I don't know how much he's gonna be worth, but in cuteness, he's worth quite a bit. So, found that. Um, I, as you know, if you've watched me, I am trying clothes, poorly trying clothes, but sales are happening, so I'm getting more encouraged to try. But we went to a um, rummage sale at a church that we were really hoping would be great and it, it wasn't super great but I went into the clothes and found a fair amount of clothes so this is just a little bit I found this is just a pair of men's Wranglers jeans they're 40 by 30 I think they're nothing special but I really like selling the men's jeans because one they tend to be the same size between brands, not like women's. So I do enjoy that factor. So I picked up a few of these like these and I picked up one other that's probably gonna pay for everything because of what it is. It's brand new, it's still in its Duluth trading. I will probably, I likely will still take it. I don't know if I'll take it out of the bag. I probably will because I wanna take pictures and then I can always put it in the bag, but it has its tags. And it's just a brand new pair of Duluth Trading Company pants. So that I'm sure is, you know, at least a good little bit of money and paid a dollar for that as well. This is 
I don't know what this, this is a ski suit, I think. And here, I'll just put up slal slalom USA. It's made in USA, size 20. Um, I have the top and I have the, the other part. I don't ski, so I don't really know what it's called. Um, the other part here. So I have the whole set. I have no idea. I'm hoping pretty decent money because I do think it's older and it is made in USA. I paid five for it. So in my world in clothes, definitely paid off a little bit, but I don't know. So, but it, it's in nice condition. So it was worth the gamble on it. Um, let's talk about the title guys. So my friends, I bought, I bought so many My Little Ponies. We went to a, three different community sales. We somehow managed to fit three different community sales into our morning on Saturday and slight afternoon. And the last one we went to, you could tell these people they had not sold any of the My Little Pony stuff they had. And so I, I made an offer through my mother-in-law because I'm terrible at making offers. So she does it for me. Uh, she made an offer on the whole tote of My Little Ponies. And I can put a picture of the tote here. It's not a little tote. And so we made an offer of 60. They were asking three a piece. I know guys, it's a total low ball offer, um, but we had to start somewhere. And I don't know enough about the newer generations of ponies. I've sold the generation ones, but I don't know enough about the newer generations to really confidently give a ton of money for them. So then she came back after we chatted a little, she says, I think it's about 120 ponies. I'd like to get at least a hundred. So I just told her I'd give her a hundred. So I gave her what she had asked. And then I, after I came home, there was 195 ponies in there. So my cost of goods is 51 cents per ponies. And let me show you how she had them set up. But first, okay, first, here's a video I think two videos of some of the ponies out of their bags so you can kind of see what I have. And that's not even a chunk of the ponies. So here's that video. Okay, so I spliced that in, I think hopefully well. And, but this is what they look like. So she just put them, they all have their names, guys. I wouldn't have done this if they didn't have their names. They all have their names. This is Desert Blossom, friends. And let me see if I can find, I don't know if I can find the super good one. I already sold one. Here it is. I sold one already for $25. And there's another one in here that's worth big money. This is June Rose. June Rose is special. June Rose is worth like $75. It's an exclusive to Toys R Us for birthday flowers. I, yeah, I did not think any of the newer generations of ponies would have this. So yeah, um, but yeah, she had all of them just nice and sorted out for me. I mean, so I, I took the chance. Here's like another, you can see. This is Toodle. Oh the, yeah, her name messed up here. So she made one tiny mistake. I don't blame her, but this is technically Toodaloo. I mean, and they're really easy to look up. Honestly, you just type in, type in their names, type in My Little Pony. And a lot of these were just done for a single session. So Giggle Bean. <laughs> I mean, I've only found like a couple doubles. It's wild guys. There's 195 of these in their little baggies. So I think I've listed 18 now so far. Um, uh, so ponies, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm very grateful because I need, I needed something just to have as a little extra on my death pile. So I could do basically so I could go and do some fun stuff over the weekends and not always be sourcing. So I've got ponies for days, uh, but let's keep rumbling past ponies. This, I have two things here. This is a Nickelback Silver Side Up Tour shirt. I don't know what year, but it's a size large. So, let's see, yeah, size large, um, but just in good condition. So nothing on the front, so nothing special there. And then this one I picked up because it was interesting. 
So this still has the tags and this is a Dickies shirt, but right here, you can see there, it says Loggins and Messina, I think, Touring Crew 2009. So I don't know, this is probably something you don't see much of and it still has its tag, so it's in new condition. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see what that might bring. Gotta make sure I'm not burying anything over here I didn't show you. I think we're good. Okay, next. This video is gonna be longer than I thought. I thought I didn't do a ton of items, but I talked too much. So this one's really nice because it says what it is right on the back. So just, it's an antique. Sorry, really bad glare. There's kinda, you can see it. Um, I'm not sure on value yet. We paid $5 for it. It is McDonald's Peak Mission Range Mountains, Montana, and it's a hand-tinted photograph circa 1920. You can also see that it says that kind of information down here as well. So it's a nice little piece, but it does say that info on the back for me, thankfully, because it did actually come from an antique dealer that she hadn't done antiques for quite a while, and she did them in a different place than we were sourcing. So that's a fun little piece and nice and nice and small and easy to pack and these i picked up i always pick these up especially if i can get more than one they're not huge money but likely i can lot them together for 15 dollars. so it's river road recipes one and river road recipes two i have another lot up right now that's all three so there was three there might be more but i've only found the three i think there's just three and so I lotted those three up together, but I'll just lot these two up together and I'm gonna guess probably 15. So I always pick them up, I paid a dollar total. That's great profit. Um, I got some records, none of these I believe are super great, but I got them mostly to lot because they weren't super um, expensive. So just Elvis, I'm just gonna show you them really quick. If they're big money, I'll post them up here, but mostly they're gonna be five to tens and I'm gonna lot. So Elvis, let's be friends. We've got Elvis Sings, Flaming Star, Good Condition, Great Has That Shrink. Got another Elvis here, Almost In Love. These aren't the Big Money Elvis. I'll post up the Big Money Elvis right here. This one is Come On Everybody Elvis. And then Elvis, I Got Lucky. So they're all in pretty good condition. And then I also got just some Johnny Cash that I can lot up. So Johnny Cash sings Hank Williams. Johnny Cash, The Holly Land has the hype sticker and the shrink. This one I likely got for um, my fiance. And this is The Lone Ranger. I think he'll like that. And then the Folsom Prison Blues, Johnny Cash, Doing My Time. So. Nothing I don't think super great, but I will just lot them together and then they will be great. So we have more. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go a little faster now. So this is going to be a Tiffany & Co. handcrafted pewter. So it's just a little trinket jar, but it is Tiffany. So my mother-in-law told me to get this because I'm a cheap human and we paid $7 for this. So I like, can't pay that. But I, she's definitely probably right. So. I think we'll make good money on this, but I still was like, I can't pay $7 for a jar. But there's that, I think she's right. Um, I, I believe she's looked him up, so I know she's right, but still. Um, this, I don't know. I just picked it up because I recognized the name as a higher end, I think. It's Saks Fifth, Ave Fifth Avenue. So it's made in Italy at Saks Fifth Avenue. And it's just like a little candle brass holder thing with seashells. I don't know. I paid two dollars at the thrift store. I couldn't really find anything like it but when I made a cursory look, so I'm just gonna have to guess probably a little bit. Educated guess. Educated. And these, these are great, guys. I was so excited when I saw she found this because, of course, I went up to her and I'm like, "Did you even know what you grabbed?" And she did. She of course did. I didn't know. But once I looked at it, so she's found one of these before and they're Elias. So you can see it on the side possibly. 
If not, I'll blow up a little picture, but it's USA Elias 1989. And I will try to blow up a picture of this, but this is going to be 925. It's sterling and pewter. So it's fine pewter and sterling that this frame is. And these sell for really good money. She, the last one she picked up, I think for a dollar and I sold it for 50 really quickly. This guy has a little easel back. He's super cute. Um, so this is going to be good money. So Elias guys, and you know, it's not an antique really. It's, I mean, it's a little older, but it's great quality and great brand to find of these, but there's kind of the top. You can see a little bit nice and blurry for you. Um, I don't know. We paid like 50 cents to a dollar. It was in a bulk little buy. This, uh, we picked up because neither of us had seen one before. And because I always pick this stuff up because I love it. It's Wedgwood. Um, it's got its little ca original case and it's just a Christmas ornament. I don't want to take it out. Um, not right now, but it's just a little, very pretty Christmas ornament with an angel. Um, I don't know how much their Christmas ornaments are worth because I've never, I've never sold or found their Christmas ornaments, um, but we paid $2 for this. So I would have done that for any piece of Wedgwood. So that's great. This I picked up and I'm disappointed by it. Usually if you pick up um, the dongles, so the connectors for um, Guitar Hero, Rock Band, that kind of thing for the guitars, they're worth pretty good money. This one's only worth like $10 plus shipping. So I'm a little disappointed by him, but I still picked it up. So definitely keep an eye out for that kind of stuff because the guitars are always selling, but the connectors tended to not. So they tended to not make their way with the guitar into the world. And let me see what else I have surrounding me if I've gotten most of it. Okay, here's one thing. Bone! Um, I don't know how much this one particularly is worth, but I typically pick these up. I paid five for it, maybe too much, but we'll see. It is tested and working. So luckily, um, my mother-in-law still has a home phone, so I'm able to test these phones and say that they're working, and it's great. It's heavy, it's a dense one. But I think, let me take one more cursory look. I think that was everything. Oh, no, I had a couple more things just right down here. So none of these, I don't think any of these are super special, but I bought we went to a yard sale and she was charging really cheap prices. And the biggest thing was mugs. So she had a whole bunch of Starbucks mugs and a couple Disney. 50 cents a mug. I'm going to pick them up. Uh, usually I'm going to average probably 10 a piece. But here's one Disney one. It's Ariel. It's Hallmark. Right there. And I don't know why it has a fork for a handle. But it says, be the voice the world needs. I'm really confused by the fork handle. Trident. Maybe it's a trident. I think it's a trident because it's aerial. Let's go with that. Um, but it's in beautiful condition. So I picked this up for 50 cents. Here's one of the Starbucks. So I have a lot of them were in this kind of series. The And this is Hamptons. Still has the original price tag on the bottom. So really hasn't been used. And then one more also in the Been There series and just a San Diego, but in great condition as well. So we picked up probably 10 mugs. So I was super stoked with that. And I'm happy if I average 10 a piece for them, absolutely. So I, yeah, there's some stuff guys. I will try to put up solds as I can. Um, remember in the comments to write if you would have bought the Angry Bird plush or if you would have bought the art piece or both and also put in the comments your favorite find if you were treasure hunting this last weekend tell me about what you found and yeah so thanks everyone i'll see you on the next video